All right, my ultra-large staff of researchers has now informed me that there are 160 days of sunshine in Pittsburgh per year, on average. We may have used up a couple of them already. Yeah, today was absolutely gorgeous outside. We want that sunshine to stick around. Let's make it 161, Ray Petlin. Can we do that? Well, let's put it this way. If today felt very special to you because of the sunshine, we have to go back. Yesterday and today were the first times we've had absolutely clear days in 113 days since the middle of November. And so far, today's not included here. Today was number two of sunshine for the year so far. We've had 43 cloudy days and 17 partly cloudy days. So the clouds, they're winning so far. But man, let me tell you, anytime we can get a sunny day like we had today in there, that's just perfection. And we did it two days in a row. Now we're going to let the clouds win out again. Well, we're not going to let them. They're going to just do it on their own. We get a couple clouds trying to mix in out at the airport, 54 degrees. West southwesterly winds at 9 miles per hour. Beautiful evening for a walk. We have some time before that cold front drops in. Temperatures up to the north, mid to upper 40s. That's where we find our clouds as well. You go out to Beaver Falls, it's 53, 54 in Pittsburgh. Cranberry, 45, Washington, 53, Morgantown. Greensburg, 52 for you. And Connellsville is reporting 44 degrees. You can see that little cloud deck up to the north, inching down to about Newcastle, up to the uh, Venango and Butler County line along I-80. And I-80 seems to be the big dividing line between where we have the clouds right now and where we have the clear skies. Those clouds will continue to drop in. This is our cold front, not the most impressive looking cold front from a radar and satellite perspective, but we will see more clouds moving in, especially once this front drops in and drags that moisture across the lakes. Up towards the lake shore, you might have a couple snow showers trying to develop, but we're not anticipating any accumulation with this. And as this front drops down, it's going to set us up for a little more cloud cover tomorrow. Those clouds will be a bit stubborn, especially for the first part of the day. Into the afternoon and evening, we might see a few peaks of sunshine, but more clouds than anything else are expected tomorrow with that colder air being pushed in here. Now into Friday, as high pressure gets closer, that'll start to cut away at the clouds, although our temperatures will remain cool all the way into the beginning of next week. For your commute tomorrow, clouds for the front end, so you won't need the sunglasses there. Uh, you probably won't need them too much in the evening as well. We'll start to see some peaks of sunshine trying to emerge, but uh, generally more clouds than anything else for the day and temperatures pretty much stuck in the mid 30s. So tonight we dip down to freezing with those increasing clouds. So the clouds will hold in the heat, so they're beneficial in that regard. But tomorrow, we're not going to warm up too much. We're looking at highs in the mid to upper 30s, breezy clouds, a little sunshine, especially later in the day, but more clouds throughout the day. Don't look for the bright blue skies like we had yesterday and today. Temperatures upper 30s tomorrow, Friday and Saturday, low 40s on Sunday. These next four days are going to be all below average. Then we get well above and it's for Monday, mid 50s, upper 50s Tuesday dry both days. Wednesday, 63 degrees. We could be looking at some afternoon showers trying to develop there, but man, that's going to be a very warm day and a whole lot's going to be going on over the next week. So make sure you get the KDK weather app current conditions so you know what you're stepping out to. You get the forecast hour by hour daily, however you want it. Plus there's an interactive future cast built into the radar and it's all free. Search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.